today. Yeah, I'm on. Oh. All right, what's up guys? So today I've got an absolutely incredible video for you guys. As you could probably tell from the title, I actually caught my first kingfish. So I've been trying to catch this fish for quite some time now. Um, and you know, big shout out to Julian for taking me to this spot. Like I just said, it was my first kingfish, so I'm definitely not a master, but I'm gonna quickly go through my setup so that if you guys wanna catch a kingfish, um, you know, you can use this setup. Essentially, we're using 6.0 octopus circle hooks. Now we had 50 pound leader, so the bottom hook is tied on basic uni knot, and then your top one is a snail knot. Now generally what you're doing first thing in the morning is you're going for squid. Now I didn't actually film the footage, but we caught two squid, and the one I was using, I was just using a 2.2, right? And I was using this exact color, and I'm pretty sure this is a pilchard color. So we're using squid jigs, and I'm gonna show a quick clip of another day of me catching a squid and just showing you what, he, what I do. Essentially, I'm just pushing up, letting it go up, and then slowly drifting down, waiting a few seconds, and tugging. The clip I'm showing you now is from when I was on the boat. It's a little bit different when you know, you're know you doing it off a pier because you're having to cast out, whereas on the boat, you can just drop it down. Now, in terms of the squid size, you want something um, hunt, I'm pretty sure Hunter's fishing adventure, he calls them lollipops. Something kind of like the size of your hand, nothing bigger than that. Obviously, a massive king is going to eat anything, but, um, you know, as a rule of thumb, you know, you want to get something kind of like that. Arrow squid are really good as well. They're the ones people suggest. Now, that's it. That's your setup. Essentially, the top one goes through the hood. Now, that's I've not given myself enough space in this one over here, but let's say it was a really small squid. Top one goes through the hood, and the other one goes like this, looking in the other direction to the head. Well, not the head, it's like the, the bottom of the hood. So you don't pierce the head or anything like that, you're always piercing the hood as well, okay? So we've got that, we've got 50 pound liter there, and you can go heavier depending on the environment that you're fishing in. Now, in terms of the actual swivel itself, it was a rolling swivel. Now this one here, I'm pretty sure is a barrel swivel. So I was using a, ba uh, a rolling swivel, and it was, a little bit bigger than this actually. And then that was connected to my 50 pound line. And then I had a sinker, I had an oval sinker. And it was something pretty light because the actual um, squid itself was actually quite small. So I didn't want it using up most of its energy, you know, trying to come up and it wasn't on the, on the bottom either, but still I wanted to use something light. And you know, the current was, there was barely any current as well. So I didn't find the need to use a really big sinker. Very well known spot, just fishing at the piers. Take it easy, enjoy the video. See you later, guys. Hey. Yeah, I'm on. Oh. 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 Come on. Julian, I need you. Quick, he's gonna come off. Hold him. Come on, Julian. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nearly there, nearly there. Don't let him slip out. Wait, wait, wait. He just put Let's go! I don't really, oh, I don't mind, bro. I don't mind at all. I do not mind. Yeah, bro. 60, what do you reckon? Like 62? Yeah, 62, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's get a photo. We'll release it. All right, guys. First kingy ever on a livey. 62 centimeters. Really good fight. Good fun. That is boys. John. Oh, man. I can't. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Nice and short one, showcasing my first kingfish. See you guys soon, more videos to come. Laters.